Okay, hi. This is not a video that I want to make or ever thought I'd be making. Oh, that, this fucking sounds like it's my own apology video. So, I don't know how closely any of you guys have been following the whole GC2B stuff within the past pretty much couple of days, I think it's come out. So, I'm pretty sure this started a few days ago with the TikToker Ains Dog. Um, great TikToker, love his content, go check him out. Basically, he made a video stating that he had been binding with GC2B for, I think, two years, and even after following their safety regulations, like never breaking the safety regulations even once, he was experiencing um, fluid buildup in his lungs and he's seeing a chiropractor for things happening with his ribs from a GC2B binder that he never used outside of GC2B's guidelines. Now, I am not gonna speak on my own personal experiences with binding because I know that I unsafely bind all of the time. I know I am unsafely binding. I know I sustain damage from it, this has just been what I've had to do for my dysphoria. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how I bind because that is a horrible way of binding. But I know that I've sustained some medical damage from it. But I've only ever used GC2B binders. Aiden, in his video, I think he goes by Aiden. I don't know. I'm pretty sure his name's Aiden. His username, I don't know, fucking whatever. Anyway, in his video, he made the claim that his GC2B binder, because he was using it um, the way that they said to, like not for more than eight hours a day, never sleeping, never exercising, and he, and he had rib damage, he was like, well, GC2B is unsafe binders. This is probably true. Like, I'm not, I'm not here being like, fuck you, Aiden, <laughs> like, you're wrong. And I think since he posted that, some other people have said that their JC2B binders have left them with damage. Um, I don't know how true that is because his video is the only one that I saw. And then I just heard some other people saying, oh, did you know JC2B is unsafe now? I haven't actually seen any other accounts of anyone. Um, I know people who have damage from binding, but like, like I said, like me, we've all, Everyone who I know who has damage from binding has said that they find it in unsafe ways. So from what I can see, that was the only account of someone following the regulations and still getting damage. Uh, I'm guessing more people have come out about this because GC2P has just now, four hours ago, issued a statement. So this is why I'm posting this now. It is like almost midnight and I'm like here sitting in front of my computer to record a fucking video. Um, and then so JC2B released this statement um, here um, to our customers. We want you to know that we hear your feedback. We will make a statement soon to address risk concerns about the safety and longevity of our binders. Um, we have a small team, da, 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 products, customer service, whatever. I did the barest minimum research for this, but from what I can find, there has really never been any type of study looking into the safety of binding. Like the whole don't bind for more than eight hours. Like I, I, I don't think that number actually comes from anywhere. It just gets thrown around. So like if you bind with a traditional chest binder, like the only study that I can find on binding like traditionally with normal chest binders, it's from 2018. It's by the National Library of Medicine and it's saying that 88.9% of people had one binding related symptom and then it goes like into like how long people were binding for but doesn't actually say how long in the day they were binding for it just says like w over what period they were binding but anyways first of all that's an alarming statistic <laughs> but second of all um I I don't know where we get these like binding rules from if there's actually been like actual concrete medical scientific evidence to say that this is the amount of time but like I've always felt like we were kind of pushing our luck a bit because binding especially with the type of binders JC2B makes like and I'm not gonna and it like w these types of chest binders have not been around for that long in terms of like needing to be around long enough for like scientific stuff. It's kind of like vaping. Like we know vaping is bad, but since vaping hasn't been around for long enough to like really see long-term effects, we don't know how bad it actually is until generations who've been brought up on vaping get old enough that we can like study what's happened. These have not been around for long enough and also trans people tend to die very a lot, so it's sad. These have not been around for long enough and we do not have enough sample studies of people who've been wearing these for long enough to actually really kind of see what effects these have on your body. That is, I feel like, unless there is some study that I'm unaware of, but like I really don't feel like these types of binders have been around for long enough like to even have done that, but maybe there has and I'm just wrong. I'm not gonna say all binding is unsafe. That is not true. Um, I am gonna say if you have a GC2B binder now, um, maybe be careful. I'm gonna continue wearing mine because like I said, 
I've already fucked up my ribs. I already bind unsafely. Is th is this unsafe? Oh well. I what other option do I have? I just tucked my hair behind my ears. My hair's fucking tied up. Anyways, I'm not speaking this all the best way, but I'm just gonna let you know that this is happening. That there could allegedly be a recall on JC2B binders. I don't know. That's the route I think they should take. If they're going to take, I'm not fucking sending mine in. I literally only own binders. Like, I don't own a sports bra. I don't own anything. Like, if I don't have a binder on, I have nothing on. But I am just making this announcement to you, just to let you know that you guys, um, these are unsafe, apparently, now. I think. I don't know. I really don't know. If you don't care about your physical health, wear a fucking binder. Like, that, that's just what I'm saying. Um, this study that I just skinned through, apparently binding's bad for you no matter what. Um, so if you don't care about your physical health, wear a binder. Like, I'm not gonna be here being like, never wear a binder, because I know sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do for your dysphoria, even if it's shitty for your body. Now, in Aiden's video, he said that a good thing to do is after you've been binding to ice your ribs. Didn't know that. I've been binding for five years, Have I was I supposed to be fucking icing my ribs this whole time? I don't know. Um, I would say right now, right now in this moment, the only definitive safe way of binding is trans tape or KT tape or some type of like tape that is safe to put on your skin to use. I, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, these are the correct binders to use, these are the bad binders to use, because if JC2B's binders are like unsafe, like, I've not tried out Spectrum binders, but nothing about them seems so drastically different that if JC2B's model of binders are unsafe, that theirs would also be safe. This is not me claiming anything against Spectrum binders or any other binding company. It's just all of these binders, to me, seem more or less the same. They're made of roughly the same stuff. Like, I don't understand what's gonna be different. If JC2B's binders are found unsafe, that means that the rest of them are suddenly safe. Like, it's clearly the, the garment itself, not like the fucking specific percentage of fucking polyester in them. Like, I feel like if we're now coming to the realization that just like this type of binder is unsafe, I don't understand what the other companies are going to be doing differently that's going to magically make theirs safe. Like, it's either they're safe or they're not. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about binder making, but I feel like this is like a stretchy fabric, like it's, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I've had a Spectrum binder before, it didn't fit, it was the wrong size, but it was more or less pretty much made exactly like this. Like, I think it just had like thinner straps and like a slightly thicker, um, pad at the front. Um, I do not have a Spectrum binder currently, they're fucking always out of stock, hello focus, they're fucking always out of stock whenever I check, so maybe I'll get a Spectrum binder and look into it. Spectrum is literally the only other company I've heard of, by the way. Um, doing binders, I literally know of no other company. Um, Underworks, don't fucking buy Underworks. I'm gonna say don't buy JC2B because the fucking, like, jury's still out on JC2B. And I've never bought a Spectrum binder except for the one that I got that wasn't in style, but, like, it pretty much is exactly like this, so I'm not gonna tell you to go buy a Spectrum binder. What I am gonna tell you, if you have a sports bra, go with a sports bra. Just use a sports bra. H&M has those, like, sort of binder slash sports bra things. I think those are our best options right now. Um, because it's not quite fully a binder, because it's in the sports bra section. It might be a binder, but I think it's more just like a really tight sports bra. H&M has those. Um, and trans tape. Personally, for my chest, trans tape did not work. I just don't think I have the right chest elasticity to make it work. Again, probably from wearing this for so fucking long. Um, trans tape did not work on my chest, um, but there are other types of tape. KT tape, I know Boots in the UK has their own type of, like, it's like muscle tape. So, like, tape that, like, you would put for, like, your muscles to, like, stretch your muscles, sort of, for, like, sports injuries. That's the type of tape you're looking for, or trans tape. Now, I know neither of those are very, um, budget-friendly compared to a binder, but, you know, you know what else isn't budget-friendly? A fucking chiropractor. So, I'm just saying. I don't care, because I live in the UK. We have free healthcare. If I fuck myself up, I don't have to pay a dime. But if you're in the US, that, that's, da that's dangerous. Um, but obviously, I think at this point, the safest thing, if you really want a safe method of binding that isn't spending loads of money on tape, sports bras! Woo! I know, that is not the thing you want me to say, but, like... If this isn't safe, fucking nothing's safe, guys. So, if you want a safe method of binding, that's what you do. If you want an unsafe method of binding, keep wearing your GC2B binder. 
Um, the video that I've made on binding, I will be unlisting at the moment, just because it's fucking, I, I fucking suck JC2B's dick in that, and apparently I shouldn't have. Everything you hear about binders is pretty much hearsay. Like, it's all hearsay. Like, there's almost, like, no evidence to say. Like, what if this whole time we've been saying don't wear your binder for more than eight hours? What if this whole time it was like, actually, if you wear it for more than four? Like, what if this whole time we've all just been wearing it double the length? Because actually, medically speaking, if you go past four hours, that's when it go gets fucky. Like, like literally no one knows. Like, th that's the fuck of it all. No one knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> this is why I don't make videos at night. So, yeah. Um, ice your ribs. Get some good stretches in there. Um, don't wear your JC2B binders. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't have any alternative binder companies that I feel okay with recommending because I haven't tried any other binder companies other than Underworks, like genuinely. And Underworks is absolutely shit, so don't do that. Um, don't get the shitty Amazon binders. Don't use duct tape. Don't use ace bandages. We know those are bad, but like, I don't, I don't know guys, it's looking fucky, it's looking fucky. This is just a quick little video. This will probably go down once there's like some like actual like conclusive evidence. Um, but it's not looking good guys, it's not looking good. Um, stay safe out there. Um, I will not be staying safe. I'm just making the active choice to like say fuck my body, I don't care. Um, but that's a horrible thing to do and you shouldn't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Do not follow my example. I am a horrible person, but if you're wondering, Theo, how are you going to be binding your chest? It is going to be with the provenly unsafe method. Because I, I taped didn't work. Taped didn't work. Um, I have a top surgery consultation in three weeks, so that'll really be important now, because, like, Jesus Christ. Like, I knew I was unsafely binding. I knew that the way I was binding was gonna fuck me up, and I've accepted those consequences. I was like, yep, sure, whatever. Uh, who, who, who knows what's gonna happen with my ribs? Who knows? Who knows? It's like smoking. Like, people who smoke know that it's bad for them, but, like, they do it anyway. Like, I know it's bad for me. I'm gonna do it anyway. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, no, bad, 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 don't do it. Um, yeah, so that video will be, um, um, privated for now, the binding video. So that's, this is mostly just to say where that video is going, and also just to be like, hey, watch out for GC2B binders, guys, like, uh oh, whoopsie, yeah. If you're looking for an alternative, I do recommend my trans mask clothing video because I go over a lot of layering options that are specifically good for hiding your chest. So if you don't feel comfortable binding now, like you don't want to unsafely bind, which is what you should feel, you shouldn't want to do something unsafe for you. Um, go watch my trans mask clothing video because as we discover what is good and safe for our bodies, you know, that might mean, like, not binding to, like, get to a perfectly flat chest. Because honestly, it kind of sounded too, too good to be true this whole time. Like, you can wear something and get a perfectly euphoric flat chest and nothing bad will happen to you? Mm, I doubt it. So, sorry, this is getting really dark. Um, I didn't script any of this, I'm sorry. Um... Um, I'm posting a new video, an actual good video, in a week. Well, I don't know if it's a good video, but it's an important video. And, yeah, I will try and keep you guys updated on the GC2B situation. Um, I think Brennan Beckwith was a little harsh. Like, a little <laughs> harsh on Instagram. That's, that's how I knew GC2B posted a thing, because Brennan Beckwith on Instagram was like, You are stealing trans dollars to hurt us. They, this was malicious intent. They knew they were hurting our community. And it's like, calm down calm down like i think i don't think this is a gc2b specific problem i think this is just like a product in general problem like i don't i feel like it's probably just a product with like the actual design of a shut up i cannot let you outside it's the fucking middle of the night yeah i think if gc2b is going down they're all going down i think we're gonna have a lot of harsh realizations about binders and how they're not good Oh well, sucks to suck. What the fuck was the point of this? Alright, good night everybody.